now you can test whatever it is you're testing. So when you're testing the product, you want to take it. This is a, this is a CBD tincture that I used when I went through an extremely painful condition recently. And the only way I got any sleep was using this. So I would say I'd hold it in my energy field and say this. This is healthy, safe, and beneficial for me now. And I have a yes. Okay, so if I want to take some now, I can. Then I ask, it's best if I take it once a day? It's best if I take it twice a day? And that's been my norm ever since I had that condition. Yes, twice a day is what my body wants. And then I ask the dose of it. So it's one dropper full is best for me. Okay. So for me, one dropper full, two times a day of this particular product is optimal for me now, today. And tomorrow, I would test it again. So it's important to always say this is healthy and safe and beneficial for me at this time or now. Because you know what? It could be the best product in the whole world, the best quality. But sometimes your body just has blocks, can't absorb it, can't assimilate it, can't use it. Now, often I can get rid of those blocks so that your body's able to use it. But never, ever put something in your body that tests no. Why? Because anything that goes in your body and you can't use it, it's toxic to you. It's poison to you. Same thing. If you're testing and you get no movement, no motion, no yes, no yes, no yes, and no, no, it's neutral. You don't put it in your body if it's not going to benefit you. Now, a quick note on nutrition, because you want to do this for your foods also, so you'll stop eating the junk that's hurting you, and you may not realize it's hurting you until you test, because it turns out the things that we're allergic to that really screw up our systems, they're things often we're eating every day and we're allergic to them. So you want to be sure and test your foods, especially when you're introducing a new food. When you go to the grocery store, do not buy anything that has ingredients. You buy the pure nature made food. So you shop on the outer aisles of the grocery store. You do not go up and down the inner aisles where all the garbage is, where all the chemicals are, where all the GM food, GMO foods are. When you're buying any kind of animal product, you make sure it's pasture raised, that's grass fed and grass finished. There is no law about what grass fed means. So it's meaningless. You don't buy a product that says grass-fed unless it says grass-finished. And so you know, organ meats have a gazillion more times the nutrition that you're seeking. The plants, foods, it doesn't matter how many you eat. Your body's not getting them. Organ meats will get them in very small portions. So yes, you want some muscle meat, but you're getting your nutrition from the organ meats. So these are some hints for you to look for where you're spending your money, taking care of yourself. If you don't feel well and you're taking a supplement for pizza, make sure that you tested it. And there might be something that's better for you. Why do I tell you this? I had a client once. And I had a colleague once, and they were sick, like so sick, they were almost to the point of dying. 
they were taking top quality supplements. One was taking homeopathics and the other supplements. Their bodies couldn't use them. They were killing them. We tested, we said, okay, here's this whole bag full of stuff that you've been taking. None of it is working in your body at this time. Stop taking all of it. And he very quickly recovered, and so did my colleague. Very important. You don't take a supplement without testing whether it's healthy, safe, and beneficial for you now, and what dose and how often. I'm Melanie Bierman. Find me at the relationshipintelligence.com.